Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about the most recent Tales of Tenorio uh, developer log and on a specific feature that has caught my eye even more than the hordes. And that's this, Dungeons and Depths. So, it's kind of um, a fusion of two different features. Uh, as you can see here, um, it's uh, the depths were originally kind of designed to be, if you know what the grand underground is from BDSP, that's basically kind of what it is like. Uh, you go through like a cave system and there's a bunch of different like uh, rooms in that and you can find a bunch of different Pokemon that you can't normally find up on the surface. So that's uh, what it's kind of similar as if you want kind of an idea of what it is. Um, it's probably what's going to be slightly different of course but that's just the basic idea and so that's going to be merged with dungeons and i think this is really cool because uh, there's certain tenorians you want to be hunting in the dungeon uh in the depths previously that's kind of included in the dungeon and that adds to kind of why you'd want to do the dungeons in the first place and also um okay so we have uh, tenorians of different typings to be captured alongside adding puzzles, uniquely designed challenges, and a lot more. Now, the puzzles is really interesting. So I can't really think of an example, um, but I'm sure there are games where there are puzzles you have to solve, and it just makes it more interesting, and, you know, actually have to use your brain and try for things. Um, uniquely designed challenges. Now, I have no idea what that's obviously going to be, but that's got me pretty interested. You know, the the mystery of that, I think, is a, is a pretty interesting aspect. I'm excited for that. And by merging these two features, we developed a more fun experience. Yeah, I can definitely agree with that. That can be put into a single update, uh, allowing a significant amount of secrets and content. Ooh, okay. So here we have um, a challenge room with boss tenorians. Now, this is interesting. So I guess that thing in the direct, perhaps that was... Um, either it was some kind of raid, or it, it was definitely something to do with a dungeon. So I guess that was Boston. Right? Now, this is really, really interesting. Um, because, you know, I guess we kind of have something like a raid within the dungeon. Which would just be really, really cool. And I'm really excited for that. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can get more, um, yeah, more, uh, depth. Um, more into depth closer to the release. Um, so yeah, th there's the, uh, the boss as well. That's going to be really interesting. So, yeah, in my opinion, um, this is just going to be more interesting, um, than Horde to me. Because it, it just seems really, really unique. And this is something that, um, I mean, there is Runic Island in Doodle World. Um, and it is seeming, you know, I could probably got aspects from that. Obviously, dungeons are like... Uh, I don't really know too much, so I'm probably getting a bit, things a bit wrong about that. But, yeah, this is overall really, really interesting. And I imagine it's going to be a really, really unique um, unique um, thing with, like, replayability. I've said unique way too many times. Um, so, yeah, if you guys are excited for this as much as I am, because I am definitely, um, I really hope it becomes its own defined thing, like PvP and trading are in um normal like creature capturing games etc um yeah i'm probably just gonna end it here um hope you guys enjoyed looking forward to this so yeah bye oh so quickly just thought i'd mention this is uh it got announced in the tales of tomorrow discord server that whenever the um like the final uh direct um before uh the release um comes out that direct is going to have the release date in it. Um, so I just thought I'd let you guys know quickly. Uh, yeah, I'm actually going to end it here. Bye.